Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the setup of a Discord server. And once we have that set up, we'll add channels, voice chats, take a look at some of the roles, and even add a bot to help automate messaging. It's actually not that hard, so let's take a look. So we're gonna begin on our Windows 10 desktop. I'm gonna open up my browser. We'll just type in Discord inside the Google search. And discord.com is the official URL. We'll just click on that. And we just need to download the software first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link over here that says download for Windows. It's just under 80 megs. When it's complete, we can click on the setup file and we'll begin the installation. So it's installed and we're at the login page. What you need to do is register an account if you don't have one already. If you do, you can go ahead and sign in right now. I'm gonna pretend like I don't have an account, so I'm gonna click on register. And then it's gonna ask you for some information. You can go ahead and type in your email address. Once you have all this information, you can go ahead and click on continue. So we just gotta do this uh, bot right now. And now it wants to start the verification. So we'll click on the start verification button over here and it send an email. So we just gotta go into our email address and check for it. Verification is now complete. We're at the main screen. If you're not familiar with the, the interface, you have a list for DMs and direct messages for people that you add. If you have their username, you just have to enter it in there and then send their friend request, and then you can start adding your friends right away. Okay, so we're gonna begin by creating our server. So I'm gonna click on this button over here. And now it's asking you to uh, either use a, a template right now that they have already created, or you can create your own. In this tutorial, we're gonna be selecting create my own server. And this is where you can decide whether you're gonna do it for a club or just for a group of friends. And it's basically gonna help set up this server for you based on the, your choice right now. If you're not sure what you're doing, you can click on the skip this question for now and you can always configure that later. I'm gonna be doing this for my YouTube community, so I'm gonna be selecting the first option. We just go ahead and select an image. The default name is fine with me, so I'll click on create. And we just set up our server. Right here in the middle, you have the option to invite your friends. You can just click on that and then send them an invitation to your server. Now, obviously this is very basic and what you're gonna wanna do is customize it. So the first thing that we wanna do is add some channels. So you got the list over here on the left-hand side and we have a general channel, which is great, but we wanna add a few more because we wanna make sure it's customized for our needs. So I'll click on the plus sign over here and we can give it a name. You have to choose whether you want it to be a text channel or a voice channel. I'll also set up a voice channel later. So right now let's just set up a welcome channel where we can put all our welcome messages and then you can click on create. And I'm gonna add another one for announcements and then click on create. And I'm gonna add a few more in right now. I'm not gonna walk you through each individual one. I'll just skip over to the next part. Okay, great. So we created a bunch of channels over here. I'm gonna do a voice one as well. If you click on the plus next to voice channels, you can just select voice channel over here and then give it a name and then click on create channel. And now you have a voice channel. You just have to go in here and then it'll activate your microphone and your camera if you want that on. And you can see that it's ready to roll. Um, I don't have any settings right now set up for that, but I'll set it up later. Uh, but you get the idea. You can basically disconnect when you're done with it. Next thing we wanna do is create categories so we can organize this area over here so people can easily find what they're looking for when they come to your server. And that's done by creating something called a category. If, if you right click on the open space over here, uh, you get an option over here that says create category. We're gonna select that and then you can just give it a name so let's call this one welcome and i'll put all my welcome stuff together click on create category and you can see over here that we get a welcome section that's like a subsection because you can collapse these so i'm going to take my welcome channel and i'm going to put it in the category and it becomes below that and also i'm going to put in my announcements and maybe the rules and i'll just quickly create another one for a virtual machine so create category and I can put everything related to that in here. Okay, you get the idea. You can create as many categories as you want and you can have the channels underneath them just to help organize it so it can be collapsible and then you can go in and easily find what you're looking for. So you can go ahead and set up as many of these as you like. Say you created a channel or a category by accident. The only thing you have to do is click on this little wheel on the right hand side select it, and then you get the option to delete the channel. So you can go ahead and delete the channel. You can do the same thing with the categories, you just have to right click on it, and then you can select delete category, and it'll delete everything that it's inside. If you're planning on creating a community server, you're probably gonna wanna have like a mod and administrative area. So I'm gonna create a separate category for that. I think it's useful if you're gonna be setting it up and expecting a lot of people. So we're gonna create a group called uh, admin and mod, and this is gonna be sort of private where you put all the information that's only for administrative purposes or moderation purposes, things that you wanna talk about, and you can go ahead and put that in there. So what I'll do is I'll just take these two channels that I made and put it inside the category so that it's separated and you can see them listed there. To further organize this better, you can actually move the categories around uh, just so everything is in order like the way you want it. So say I want my welcome at the very top because it should be the first thing people see. I'm gonna just drag and drop it and put it up here. And now it's the first category. And then I can move my virtual machine, say I want it over here. So it's already starting to look pretty good right now. Now what we wanna do is add different privileges to people that join your Discord channel. 
and that's called a roll. So the way that we're going to do that is go up over here to the top by this arrow, click on it, and we're going to go into the server settings. Inside the server settings, you can see that there's a category in here called roles. We'll click on that. We have no roles right now. There's just the default one, which is for everyone, but we're going to be creating very specific ones for each type of category. So I'm going to click on create a role and um, we'll start with making a moderator one. So I'll just call this one mod and then we can assign a color. I'll just pick green. You can pick any color you want. And down over here, you want to say display role member separate from online members. So we're gonna select that. We can save our changes. Okay, and that one is done. And what I'll do is I'll add a couple more. So I'll click on the plus sign, make an admin. Okay, so we have all the rules set up here. And what it does is when you go back to the server, everything's saved, so we can go back here and then we can escape out of here. And so I have me listed as the only member, but if I right click on it, I can select this and then I can change my role to a owner. And you can see the text color changes. And I'll say if I wanna be, um, Oh, I put mode instead of mod. I have to change that. Uh, you can change that as well, the color over there, and then admin. And if I select admin, it basically will change the color of my text. And if you've used Discord before, you've probably noticed that. So basically, you can color categorize each individual role, and then you can see it cleanly on the right-hand side what each user can do. What we're going to do next is we're going to be setting up permissions. And the best way to do it is edit the permissions for each category. So we have all our categories over here on the left-hand side, right over here. And what we can do is we can right-click on it and say edit category. And in this window, we have the permissions. If we want to change the permissions, you just click on advanced permissions. And right now, everyone can see this one. So we just have to select view channel. We can turn it on. Now everyone can see it. By default, that's going to be fine. But if you don't want someone to see it, you just click on the red X. And now no one's going to be able to see it except for the certain members that you add on it. It's going to reset that. And what I'll do is I'll just show you an example right now. So as an example, we're going to just modify the category for admin and mod. So you're going to right click on that. And I'm going to say edit category on the left hand side. I'm selecting permissions and I'm going to make sure that everyone cannot see it. So I'm going to put an X there and I'll save the changes. Now there are people that I wanted to access it. So we have to make sure that we can select the role and we can click on the add members or roles. And now I want my mods and admins to see this. So we'll click on done and there we go, they're added. So if you go back to the main window, the only people that can access it is the owner who can access all categories and admin and mods. And if you look at the little icon over here, there's a lock on it that indicates that this is a private channel. Now you can take it a step further and go to the edit categories again, permissions and advanced permissions allow you to assign special types of privileges. When you select a mod, for example, you can have them manage webhooks, manage permissions, and manage the channels. Uh, if you don't want them to create invites, you can click on X and now you can't do that. And you can go through this entire list and be very specific on what each role can do. Once you've decided on what permissions are gonna be assigned to each role, you just have to click on save changes and then you can back out of here. And those have all been saved and applied to your server. So we just did that with text channels. The same thing can be applied to voice channels. If you wanna go ahead and right click on that and then go to edit channels. For the voice channel, you can set the exact same type of permissions right over here. So you can have very specific channels for everyone and one for admins and one for moderators and you can split it up in that way. It's pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. Another way that you can modify the permissions for each role is going up into the server settings at the top and then selecting roles. And then you can go over to each individual role and just and then click on the edit button over here. If you select the permissions menu up here at the top, you can now edit each individual role and select the type of permissions that you want. So if you wanted to uh, manage the server, you can turn that on, you can turn it off, you can scroll down a bit more. Uh, they have the ability to manage nicknames, kick members out. So now when you add an admin role or a mod role to a specific category, all the permissions are automatically set because you set them over here. That's just another shortcut and another way to do it. Now, if there's somebody on your channel that you want to put it as the admin and have exclusive rights to almost every single thing except delete the server, you can select your admin role over here and then under permissions, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you have the administrative permission. So you can select that and you can see that there's a warning over here that it's dangerous to grant because this person, whoever you put in this administrative role can do absolutely everything you can other than delete the server. So anybody that you have as administrator and you enable this permission, make sure you really trust them because they have basically rights to do absolutely everything on your server. The next thing that we're gonna take a look at is bots. Now bots, I'm gonna be probably making several videos on different types of bots that you can add to your Discord server, but I'm gonna be doing one of the most basic ones and that's the Me6. To set that up, we're gonna open up our browser 
and we're gonna go over to me6.xyz. And at the main window, what we wanna do is log in. So click on the login button over here and it's gonna to wanna to connect to your Discord server. So you can go ahead and log in here and it's gonna to wanna to ask for a bunch of permissions over here. If you're okay with that, you can go ahead and click on authorize. So now that we're logged into me6, you can see that our server has been populated in here. The next thing to do is click on set up. So it's gonna ask us for some permissions. If you're okay with this, click on continue. And now it's gonna ask you for permission for the application. So you can go you can take a look at all the options that they have over here. If there is anything that you don't like, you can just uncheck it. And then once you've completed that, click on authorize. So we'll just do this. So now that me6 is added, if you go back over to Discord, you can see that it was automatically put into the online list. And what we can do is we can give them a role immediately uh, just so we can identify it nicely. It does say bot next to it, but if you right click on it and you go down to roles, we can give it the bot color, which is red that we have over here, check it, and then go back. And you can see that the role has changed and the color has changed. So let's switch back over to the website. Me6 is not the only bot. There's many other bots that are out there. Depending on when you see this, if you look in the description, I'll be adding tutorials for other bots that you can add. So keep that in mind and you can take a look at that. Okay, and one thing I actually forgot to do is if you go back over here and go up to the Geekrise server and you go into the server settings, and then under roles, me6 is actually gonna show up as a role right now. And we wanna increase the permission on this to make sure that it can do as much as everybody else. So we have it moved up to the top and then we can save the changes. And now we just gave this me6 bot roles to do absolutely everything on our server. So I'm gonna switch back over here and inside the main window, we can customize different types of things. Like let's take a look at the welcome section right now. And what we can do is we can have it send a message when someone joins the server. So you can turn that on and then you can specify the type of message that you want in whatever group. So you can just say welcome and then it'll auto fill these. So it'll say, hey, and then it'll give it the username. Welcome to my server. So it'll say Geekrock server. And then you can add like an emoticon to it and that's done, okay and save the changes. And now you can also have it sign a private message to new users. If you turn that on, it can send a direct message to that user. It'll DM them and it'll just, you can put a welcome message or whatever you want in there. And we can save that as well. Uh, you can just turn on and off whatever you think is best for your server. That, that'll change from server to server and people's preferences. And then we have the give a role. So you can automatically give a role to somebody. Let's turn that on right now. And we can give it a role automatically. And so anyone that joins in is just gonna be a member and their name will be highlighted in orange in the right hand side. And that role has already been automatically assigned. You just have to click on save. So that is just a small thing that these bots can do. They're designed to save you time and automate procedures, automate messages, automate a lot of things. I'm not gonna go through every single bot that you can do right now because this tutorial will take two or three hours. What I'll do is I'll create separate tutorials for each type of bot, simplify the procedure so you can follow through it. So if that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel. If you thought this video was useful, please smash the like button. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not a pro at Discord servers, but I'm learning a lot and I'd like to help you if I can. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.